Another absolutely killer breakfast over here at Stanimals Glasgow. Big thanks, Spotter. Dude knows how to cook pancakes. Um, yeah, so Bob told me yesterday he was hiking into Glasgow today. He was going to be down to hike out of Glasgow this evening, so it's a big dead spot before you get to Glasgow. I ain't heard from him since like yesterday around noon, so I'm guessing if everything's going right, he's going to be coming in. I'm definitely getting antsy, so I'm really hoping he's coming in today. Um, yeah. Either way, I'm going to have to get a move on at some point, but we'll see. So what was you saying there, Mr. Jim? So we had a we had a hiker come through that found some uh, glasses on the trail. And let's see what they look like. So if anybody lost them, just uh, give uh, Stanimals 328 and Waynesboro, I'm sorry, uh, a call. But that's what they look like. 10-4. Yeah. Hey, guys, if we could get these to the rightful owner, that'd be great. Let's send the message out. Thank you, Jim. Thanks, bud. So, still waiting on Bob. It's about three o'clock. Um, been talking to Flame all day. She's this uh, this older lady that's hiking. She's dealing with a knee injury right now, and I really feel for her. Um, she's having some really deep conversation, though. She's really nice to talk to. She'd rather not be on film. She doesn't like to be in pictures, which is, you know, it's fine. I know my stepmom's like that as well, so I want to respect her with that. But. I did want to mention how nice she was and how good her energy is. Got a nice little fire going in there. Spotter's been keeping that thing rolling since I've been here. <clears throat> Definitely nice seeing this spot again. Awesome seeing Charlie again. Not stoked about being here this long today. I was hoping Bob would be in earlier, but I think he's almost here, so. I'm gonna get a, a resupply and get on the move. I know he doesn't want to do too many more today, but we'll at least get at it, I believe. What's up, brother man? Hey, how y'all doing? Long time no see. Long time. Hey, I'm Jim. I've been hearing all about you, man. Glad to have you come in. That's awesome. Hey, y'all. <laughs> All right, that is Spotter taking off. So basically, Bob told me he was going to hike into Glasgow today and we were going to hike out this evening. And I waited all day for him and finally gets over here. We get our resupply at like five or six. And he buys a dozen eggs that he wants to cook before he comes out. And I, I just lost my cool, so.
catch yet. Bob really made me feel like he was making like a real effort to catch up with me. He wanted to catch up, you know, like he wanted me to hold up. I can't afford to just sit there and eat and wait for him, but I was taking it slow. I had to hold up in Glasgow for a day for the package, but I could have, you know, no reason I couldn't take off yesterday. Definitely got some raindrops coming down. It's like some light drizzles. Green jacket over here. Mmm, Old Navy shirt. Yeah, about a mile in from uh, James River Footbridge. Supposed to be a, a little spring like point five further up by the shelter. You know, see what it looks like up there. Alright, we're gonna go hit the spring down here. I want a camel a leader, but Bob still has my light, so all I have are these pills that I have to wait 30 minutes for. So yeah, a little bummed out about the whole Bob situation, but honestly, it's been like a long time coming. The resentment's just been building, you know, like we want different things out of this experience. And yeah, I wanted him to catch up. I've waited, I've made slower miles and it just feels like a slap in the face that he has to cook eggs before we can hike today. You know, we had leftover trail magic food. We could pop in the microwave. I offered to heat up for him. <sighs> I mean, it's whatever. It's, it's not like, you know, he's a great person. I love him. Good dude. It's just our, our ideals or our thoughts of how this should go differ so much. So, you know, all right, so I'm about to get this liter down as quick as possible, put a pill in another liter, drink it, and then put a pill in another liter and walk with it. Let's see how fast I could do that. All right, got the first pill in. Give this bad boy about 30 minutes, down it, fill her up again, start hiking. So, Matt Reddy over here, he walked into the shelter shortly after I did. <laughs> Really calmed me down a little bit. I sure was pissed off at Bob. <laughs> Anyways. Look at this light. You think they got 80 miles with AT clothes right now? Huh? Did they say they had 80 miles with AT clothes? Uh, that's about a third of the channel. Up north, isn't it? Oh, I'm not positive. 